Today is July 25th and we are loading up to take our second load to Montana. Uh, we got finished with the job that we had here in Nebraska. Um, we had some help come and help us finish up here. So he's going to take over so we can go ahead and get on into um, the fields there in Montana. Um, we are fixing to load. So we finished our last field last night just right before the elevator closed. So it was a late night and early morning. We got up at 4.45. So now we are loading the second machine. Um, we've had, took our first load, I don't know, days are running together now, a few days ago. Got there, turned around, came back the very next morning. Then we started cutting that evening. We got here about 2, only to get rained out about 7.30. Today is July 28th and we are up on the bench in Hardin, Montana. Um, this will be our third day cutting up here. Uh, we got a little bit of a rain shower last night about 7.30 so they had to shut down and it's about noon now so they're just getting ready to go sample and make sure everything's good to go. Um, it's been doing pretty good. Uh, Levi, Dylan's dad, came up and a friend of his from um, Oklahoma and brought their semis to help us haul. So uh, we're glad that we have the extra help because our hauls here are about 35 miles down the mountain rock road. So it's kind of slow going. So um, we're appreciative for their help. And um, kind of all we've been up to is just driving. It took us forever, it seemed like, to get here from Nebraska and, and back and back again. to Get all the equipment here. So uh, we're happy to be in one spot for a while and just be working. Um, they are already cutting peas in North Dakota, so we're kind of being pushed to get there pretty quick. So we're hoping that the weather will hold here and kind of cooperate with us a little bit better to where we can get this job done and on into North Dakota. Uh, the kids will be starting school, I think the 23rd or the 25th of August. So we're about to run out of time with them as well. So we'll lose half our crew when they go back to school since it's just the four of us this year. So we're hoping we can get as much done while we have them and um, hope they can enjoy the rest of their summer. some things figured out there. 
up to North Dakota, so we'll just be staying in the camper when we get there uh, for probably a month or so. The boys will be in football, and um, the camper will just be easier for them getting out of school and going down to the camper in town. Um, our rent house is going to be a few miles out of town, so um, this will just work out best for now. And uh, so that's kind of what's been going on here with Debock Harvesting in Hart, Montana. August 8th and we are finally back in the field. Uh, I think my last video we were trying to get the barley done before the rain and we did succeed in getting the barley finished and then we got rained out that night and we haven't cut since. So we've been sitting about four days and uh, just got started up again today um, about noon. So we are actually going but I'm not sure for how long because the rain looks like it's coming over the top of the mountain. kind of got, uh, we've split up a little bit. So uh, yesterday, uh, Dylan made a decision to go on to North Dakota just with a, one semi and him and Colston. So we are, uh, we have some peas that are ready in North Dakota of our own to cut and they have been ready for a few days. So um, it's also supposed to rain in North Dakota on Thursday. So he really wanted to get those done before that rainstorm. Uh, once peas are ready, they are pretty finicky, so one big windstorm or rain, they will fall out of the pod. So he was really hoping to get up there and get those done. So he is actually borrowing one of our farmer's combines. Um, so he's, we called to actually see if the farmer wanted to cut them for us, but he was in Sturges. And so he offered the combine to us, and so Dylan thought that would be a pretty good idea to go ahead and try to get those uh, out of the ground and uh, get those put up so we don't have to be so stressed over those. So he took Colston with him uh, for help, but uh, from eight to noon, Colston's actually gonna be at football practice. He started high school this year, so he's actually needing to be at practice. He'd already missed about four practices. They started, I think, on the third of August, and so he was needing to get his practices in because you have to have a certain amount before you're eligible to play and they have a, their first game on August 18th. So we really needed to get him there. So he's gonna be with Dylan for two days, just helping cut those peas for uh, until he gets those done. And then he's gonna stay with my friend Jessica until we get finished here in Montana. So hopefully Dylan will get those uh, out of the field and home ba or back to Montana before um, the rain starts there and then he'll come back here, help us finish up, and then we will uh, all move to North Dakota. So um, we have a person here helping us from South Dakota. His name is Dennis and he came from, um, just found us on Facebook and asked if he could help and we were in dire need of some help. So we um, took him on and he's been a blessing. He's actually in a combine right now. Um, I'm in the grain cart now since Dylan's gone and um, we're just kind of shuffling people in our trucks so we can keep them going since uh, we don't have enough drivers for the trucks um, to keep them one in every truck so they're kind of shuffling back and forth from one truck to the other but so far it's working um, our farmers are up here helping us so we've got three machines right now going with two grain carts and as soon as um, the other farmer gets done down in the valley with some weed that he's been doing he'll be up so we will be rocking and rolling with four machines up here and hopefully we can get it whacked out before we get rain on. So here's hoping that we can get finished up and head into North Dakota soon.
is August 13th and we are finished up in Hardin, Montana. We got done yesterday about two o'clock, blew everything off, got everything loaded, and then um, we went to a concert last night. Our da farmer's daughter is in a band and she was playing in Edgar last night and so we went and watched her. Uh, probably shouldn't have because we were tired and we didn't get home till 1.30, but you know what? It was um, kind of a one-time thing, so it's a one-year time of year that we get to watch her and it happened to work out that we were done working, so we loaded up and we went and we had a good time. Uh, Dylan's brother Laramie doesn't live too far from there, so he came and visited us as well. Um, so we are fixing to venture on to North Dakota. Um, we kind of had some struggles here in Montana with combines. We've had a couple breakdowns. Um, nothing serious, just took the time to do it, the four rain delays. Um, we had such, with the rain delays, Dylan decided to go to North Dakota and try to cut our peas and uh, get Colson up there so he could get into football practice. So he's been doing football practice from eight to noon every day. Uh, they had their first scrimmage yesterday, so I was really sad to miss that. But if we get everything moved up there, we'll be there in time for his first game on the 18th. Um, However, uh, Dylan did not get to cut much of our peas. Um, we were actually gonna see if one of our farmers could go ahead and cut them because his stuff isn't till later on. Um, and But when we called, he was in Sturges and so he offered us the combine. So Dylan just drove our truck up there and um, tried to cut, but of course the rain followed him there. So he didn't even get that done. So he was there for a couple days, tried to cut and then just ended up coming back um, to help us finish up here. So when we get there, our peas will be ready, our wheat will probably be ready, the farmer's barley's are ready, so we'll be a very, very busy trying to get caught up in North Dakota. So um, that's kind of what we've been got going on here. Uh, Dennis, he went home today, um, so he could kind of check on his farm stuff there, and so hopefully he'll come back uh, sometime next week to North Dakota and help. Um, so just whatever he needs to do at home, and then if he wants to come back, that will be great. We've enjoyed having him, and he was a great help so um, hopefully that will happen. Um, trying to think, the boys will be starting school next week, I think. So we gotta get up there and get going just so we can be rolling with two machines for a little while because as soon as they go back to school, we'll be down to one. It'll just be Dylan and I and possibly Dennis trying to run five things. So um, that's kind of what we've been doing um, here in Hardin and we're glad to be finished up and heading to home now. It's the afternoon of August 13th and we were about 20 miles from our destination and the boys uh, took the combines onto the farm and in Tioga and then I was headed to set the camper up in Powers Lake and within separating of about four miles I blew a tire out on my camper. My luck, yeah. No tools. I had also broke a hydraulic hose on the camper which all of my jacks are hydraulic, so we won't be able to set the camper up until we get that fixed. It's also Sunday, and we have no service truck. So the boys went ahead, and they're gonna go ahead and unload the combine and just drive the semi to come and rescue me, and then hopefully we can get the next 20 miles without any issues. The welcoming committee into the RV park. Oh, I got a straggler. <laughs> My goodness, that's a lot. Today is 
is August 15th and we are back in North Dakota cutting our peas. Uh, we're on the job that Dylan started and got rained out on. Uh, we're just about five or six acres probably from getting this done. Um, we started the morning out in Hardin, Montana. Uh, we went back to get our second load of equipment. Um, we got up at 4.30 this morning, uh, left by 5.30 and uh, back here and unloaded and cutting. So that was pretty good. We didn't have any trouble on this trip. Um, Riggin's still in Powers Lake with a friend. I'm actually fixing to go pick up Colston for football practice. Uh, their times got changed from 8 to noon to uh, 4 to 6.30 now. So that's going to kind of sneak because we're really hoping we can have the kids the whole, the whole week before school starts because they start school next Tuesday. Um, but they kind of went back to the normal time for when they will be practicing after school. So um, we'll be missing him. I'll have to have him on the bus by 3 o'clock. So um, we'll just kind of have half days with him from now on until school starts and then we will lose half our crew. So um, I think Dennis is coming back. Uh, we'll just kind of wait and see. And then we'll have three and we can run the cart, combine, and truck. Otherwise, um, we'll just probably have to park the cart and dump in it and then the truck driver, which we'll be dealing um, here because I don't like dumping in the bins. So uh, I'll run the combine here and um, then we'll just kind of do what we can do. So that's kind of what's going on here with the bock harvest. RPs in Cuyahoga, North Dakota, August 15th. Today is August 17th and I am sitting in line at the elevator. Um, I've been running bull trucks today. Our elevator is about 20 miles away so I can't keep up with just one truck like I have been in the past so they've been uh, dumping in the other one and then I just switch when I get back. Slow down a little bit uh, just because I dropped off Colston at football practice, so we've just got one running right now. Um, so we'll see if I can keep up with just the one. Um, Dennis is on his way back. Uh, he is actually doing a parts run for us also on his way here, so that was really helpful. Um, so he's going to grab that and bring it so we can uh, fix the other combine that broke down. So it kind of worked out that Colston had a good football practice because we were down to one anyway. And the part was clear at Dickinson, so um, we weren't going to be able to run that second machine anyway today. So uh, when Dennis gets here with that, uh, Dylan will swap out those hydraulic pumps and get that one back rolling. And hopefully tomorrow we will have them both going and getting a lot done. Um, Colston's got a football game. His first high school football game is tomorrow in Ray. So this mama is going rain or shine, and um, Dylan can stay at the field if he wants to, but I'm leaving. So um, hopefully that all goes well. And then Saturday, I think it's supposed to rain, so it would have been handy to have the boys one more weekend because they start school Tuesday, but um, I guess we'll just pretty much go back down to one machine as soon as that happens, and then uh, just work them on the weekends when they are available. Uh, last year, it didn't work out at all. We got to use them one time over the, I think it was Labor Day weekend. Um, it was actually ready and not raining, but the rest of the time we either were pushing green crops or it was raining on the weekends. And so they didn't end up having to work at all, except for that one weekend last year. So we will see how it plays out this time, but um, hopefully we can get a little bit of help with them on the weekends the weather will cooperate so kind of what's going on here and uh, hopefully you guys are having a great day nice job son nice tackle by Colston the ball
days that you enjoy. No one's in the green car. That's Austin. But Regan just finished up with his little strip, so he's headed up the hill. He's right there. And we've really enjoyed the day. Kids will be starting school Tuesday, so this is probably one of their last days of summer out in the field with us. 